Today's color code is HC154. Let's get cracking. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com, and this is Color Code, cracking the code on color selection. Every single color in the world of paint has a code that goes alongside it, and in this series of videos, we take a deep dive at some of these colors. As you probably read from the video's title, we're going to feature Benjamin Moore's Hail Navy, which is a deep navy blue, surprise, surprise. But that being said, it has some distinct characteristics that differentiate itself pretty significantly from other comparable navy blues. We're going to go over its undertones, its LRV, and most importantly, we'll teach you how to use it, where to use it, and what to use it with. Whether you're a pro picking colors for a client, or just an average Joe that is curious, here at The Paint People, we got you covered. We talk about many types of colors on this channel, some that are your mega versatile main color candidates, then you have your mid-tones, which can be used a little more selectively, and then finally, you have your more niche accent colors that are reserved for more specific uses. Hail Navy sort of falls within that category, largely to do with its LRV, or its light reflectance value, of only 6.3. For those of you who don't know what that means, essentially it means that Hail Navy is a very dark color as it only reflects 6% of the light that hits it. Benjamin Moore classifies Hail Navy as a timeless classic. This deeply saturated shade of navy blue evokes rich maritime traditions and storied exploits at sea. While a very eloquent description, it doesn't tell us a whole lot about the color's undertones. While you clearly have a base of dark blue, you also have the color deepened by a moderate amount of grey, which helps soften the color's vibrancy a little bit. And there also seems to be a touch of warm brown somewhere in there as well. What you're left with is an extremely dark denim blue. Paint colors with this much tint in them can go a number of different ways, especially dark blues. You have your more purple leaning blues, your teal leaning ones, and then you have your true blues that are kind of right in the middle. I would say Hail Navy takes a few baby steps towards the purple side, and that's largely because of its interaction with blue and a reddish brown. Where should you use it? This is more of an accent color, so it wouldn't be a first choice for a hallway or an open concept living room, but I could easily see it working in dining rooms that are disconnected from the hallway, or in bedrooms that showcase lighter natural woods and off-white grays. Anything with a fairly nautical theme would work nicely. It's also a fantastic color to use on furniture and cabinets. You make the fixtures the accent, which allows you to put a much more muted neutral color on the walls to counteract it. What's a good trim color for it? While you could go with a stark white to maximize the vibrance of your baseboards, I like pairing Decorator's White with Hail Navy, mainly because it's clean, but also has those couple shots of gray within it to soften the look a little bit. It also doesn't have too much warmth present, which could clash a tiny bit with that deep blue nature of Hail Navy. Distant Grey is another option. Personally, it would be my second choice, as it has a slightly icy feel that could work under certain lighting conditions, but also look a bit too cool in others. What are some complementary color pairings? For a neutral main color that can accompany Hail Navy quite beautifully would be Vapor. I've always been a fan of navy blue and light warm neutral beige colors, and Vapor does a great job at staying true to its beige feel without having an overabundance of yellow or red undertones coming through. Conversely, another coordinating accent color would be Willow. Now I know it seems a bit redundant to have two accent colors, but it just goes to show you that you could have Hail Navy on the walls, and Willow, being a really deep taupe, could be an accent within the room, or vice versa. The combination of beige, blue, and taupe is versatile, and it works in a variety of ways, however which way you want to configure them. Maybe you can have some taupe pillows and blue furniture, or whatever. How does it compare to other colors? When it comes to Benjamin Moore navy blues, you might want to start with Old Navy, another deep, dark navy that is somewhat similar to Hail Navy, but favors black over grey. This makes Old Navy feel deeper and darker, and also a little more straightforward, as it's simply just a deep, dark, off-black blue. There will naturally be a bit less of that slight purple hue that is sometimes present in Hail Navy. As we previously mentioned, on the other side of the blue spectrum would be the teal or green leaning side, and in terms of your popular dark blues, Gentleman's Grey does have a hint of that green touch that is enhanced by warm lighting. We talked about Gentleman's Grey in another episode of Color Code if you're interested in taking a look at it right over here. 
Whether you pick that one or one of the other navy blues, the general vibe will have some similarities. When in doubt, test them out and go get yourself a color tester to solidify your decision making. As for us, we'll keep creating the quality color content you crave. See you on the next one.